The robot took form around uh, 1999, 2000. Um, around 2001 is when I really started launching the, 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 the name Robots Will Kill and going by that. So these pieces are uh, all brand new works that I did for the show. Uh, a lot of it uh, is based around the robot character that I do. He's a robot that has got a lot of human qualities to him that like, has emotions. Uh, a lot of the work is based around emotion and just feelings. At the, so a lot of these pieces talk about either time or just you know something that really the viewer possibly has gone through that the robot is going through at the same time. Orlando has always been a very big supportive scene to my artwork, whether it was shows I was doing or merchandise I was designing. Um, they, there was always a, a great like almost second home feeling. And I always, I always say that eventually this is where I'll end up. I'm going to end up moving down to Orlando, you know, um, because being from New York, you know, I'm over the weather. <laughs> but um, yeah, it, and, and seeing how much the art scene has grown, it's just incredible. And it, it seems like a good place to make the next move to. It, it's growing. I mean, it's, it's amazing to see how much more, how many more galleries there is since the last time I've been here, how much more the, 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 the non-traditional artwork is being accepted. Um, it, it's just, it's growing.